this little place is really hallowed ground for music and for drumming. Led Zeppelin recorded some of their third record here, most of their fourth record, and a lot of physical graffiti. Led Zeppelin happens to be my favorite band. John Bonham just so happens to be the best rock drummer ever. To be able to just look up and see the way the stairs go. You cannot sit there <laughs> without going, boo, gaga, oh, oh, gaga. I mean, you can't. And uh, man, I can never play it like him, but just to be in that space and play those notes and be in this same air, goosebumps, man, it was amazing. It was the benchmark, you know, that was the sound which, you know, so many people strive for and uh, just sounded like thunder. And we just thought, wow. It's like, it's like, like nothing else, you know, you just kind of, it's just some weird anomaly of the, the, the wood and the, the, the walls and just how it, that, the whole thing resonates, but it's just by fluke, it just, it just sounds amazing. The sound was actually brighter. Uh, than I expected in there, and not as much reverberation as I expected. But I think that sort of is captured by the microphones. Uh, and you don't, you don't actually feel it so much. It sounds loud in there, but it's not quite as, um, as bassy as I thought it would be. It's quite, it's quite, um, quite hard sound. When you're playing, it's inspiring to hear that room and hear the drum speak in a certain way and uh, it had a better sonic feeling to me. When there's more room for them to speak, it, it, uh, it's magical. So um, it, was, it was brilliant to get you involved in it, Headley. We've done loads of work together. Um, mm. I think part of the relationship with composers or producers and engineers is, is one of trust. It's not only, you know, you, you and I share a similar aesthetic, love of tape, love of ribbons and mm. all of that mm. kind of stuff, but it is just knowing that um, you'll get, get us across the, the finish line. We put a great team together. It was quite a complex task, though, wasn't it? I don't know if you want to talk about the actual yeah, tracking. It, it, it was quite complex. Um, we discussed it a lot. It didn't really worry me until we got there because we'd been having this fairly casual conversation and, as you say, our shared aesthetic of tape, old mics. It was clear. It was, we didn't even have to discuss no. how we were going to approach it, almost. And, but the big thing was, it was questioned at one point, shall we use tape? Because we very much wanted to. Tape machines, people think of them as inherently noisy, but they're actually amazingly engineered pieces of kit. Well, I couldn't believe the difference. It's, mm. it is just chalk and cheese, isn't it? It's nothing to do with hiss and warmth and sound. It's 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 perspective. It's how it mm. makes you feel. It's the impact that it has on you. It's it's so incredible. It was actually quite reassuring. Like, thank God, it it was actually worth it. To backtrack slightly, it it complicated matters because we needed a backup so not only were we were running to tape we were running a, a, a clean digi signal as well yeah and then obviously we were recording a digital signal post tape uh, but when we got there it kind of hit me like this is a lot to set up it, that five minutes went and we just got on with it and it is it, you know uh, for me as the day went on it was clear that actually it's a historical day and we had a service to, to history to yeah to not set up a, a laptop and uh, off you go you know we had to do it properly a lot of people are subscribing to it um, the old way of recording onto tape it lends a sort of compression and it's this soft fatter sound. I know the Foo Fighters um, just recorded uh, their new album on tape. I know Tom Petty always records on tape two-inch old-fashioned tape machines. I think it's just the fact they do sound better. To be able to have an opportunity to record in the spot that no one has been in here for 40 years. It's a now private residence, but no one has recorded music. And to be able to play drums where John Bonham played those beats and that music is beyond my wildest dreams. So once in a lifetime to be in this space and to be in this building is like something that you know will never leave me, you know. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> yeah, well the drums are a tunable instrument. They're not just tubs that 
the thicko hod carrying drummer thumps away at the back. We drive the band and I, I would always like to think that uh, the, the drums are on our record so they add to the sound, not just part of the noise that uh, just keeps time. I'll, I'll never forget it, as long as I live, which hopefully is a long time. <laughs> <laughs>